Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. And it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing. Crescent moon under the astrological sign of Capricorn. This reading is for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node Virgo. What is the mid-month? message regarding love for Virgo. No communication. Hmm. Somebody's not able to talk, unwilling to talk. They don't have the words. They don't know what to say. Hmm. They were involved with others. Um, partook with others okay so they were part of the team someone else's team so many things to talk about that's why they don't want to talk okay tell me more I'm feeling someone wants to let down their boundaries or there's something unguarded, unhealthy about, I don't know, tell me more, okay, oof, yeah, something very hurtful, Virgo, concerning love, yeah, somebody holding love back. Holding love back. Four of Pentacles is not a lot of effort. It's some effort, yes, but nothing compared to the Ten of Cups energy. Yeah, there's a lot in this package to talk about. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ten of Swords, making you feel unbalanced. Unlike yourself, when the Hermit is reversed, there's a issue with connecting with yourself, being held back from love. Oof. Yeah, others could be involved in holding you, keeping love from you. So many things to talk about, all the individual swords. Ooh. You're right not to feel like yourself. You know, sometimes when you feel uncomfortable, that spirit trying to talk to you. Mm. Make you remember, jog your memory. Okay, spirit, spirit needs to jog our memory, Virgo. Mm. <clears throat> so much to unpack here. Okay, and maybe that's why you're having a hard time talking about this, talking to somebody, or they're having a hard time talking to you. First of all, you have other people, so there you can't talk to each other because there's too many other people involved in the mix. Part of this restraint, Four of Pentacles. Tell me more, Spirit Virgo. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mid-month, November, love. Yeah, a lot of people in the mix, a lot to unpack. And you can because there's no communication. Without communication, you have nothing. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are feeling uncomfortable for a reason, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, spirit. That's it, all right. Yeah, you are feeling uncomfortable because... Not a lot is happening. 
um, in the area of love because there's other people and a lack of communication, right? About what each of these swords represent because there's a lot to unpackage here. You, somebody needs to talk. You need to talk to them. They need to talk to you, but you're right to um, not feel at ease with this situation in the way that it is. Sometimes, you know, we just have to wait, though. Uh, we may get impatient. We may hate this feeling of uncomfortability, but that shall pass, too, as long as we don't react and we just wait. Sometimes we need to learn how to be still, Spirit said. Okay, Moody. Yes, be still, wait. Wait for something new to start. Mm. Wait for your energy to be rebalanced. Mm -hmm. Maybe something still has to play out with this. Someone's not talking, but maybe somebody will with the Seven of Wands reverse. Maybe someone will let down their guard. They'll be vulnerable. They'll do what their intuition is telling them to do. Somebody needs to do what their intuition is telling them to do in order to close a cycle. Mm -hmm. Because love is going to be held back. Mm hmm yeah, this uncomfortability, you want it to stop. And until that happens, just be patient. Okay, spirit. Something new is going to start. Continue to work on yourself, right? Mm. Continue to get stronger. To continue to get stronger in mind, body, soul, your spirit. Continue to uh, work on you. Tell me more. The Four of Pentacles. Why is the Hermit Reverse and the Four of Pentacles in the center? This is all about something being held back. Um, you not getting your due, your value, something when it comes to love. Others are involved in, in this Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you are reversed because of the lovers. You're reversed because of something major with the lovers. You know, the love love is a major arcana, first of all, right? It's a choice. It's a choice in love. I don't know why, but I feel like something is not giving you a choice in love. You're not being given a choice in love. Mm-hmm. Mm Somebody could be blocking communication when it comes to love. The Ten of Cups is restraint. Uh, Four of Pentacles is holding back, hoarding, not giving of yourself. Something's not balanced here. And then you show up reverse for sure. There's something major going on. <laughs> Leave me a comment. Tell me. Okay. So you have the strength card and you have the lovers. Yes, something major and the hermit reverse. You're just not comfortable when it comes to the situation. Why? Because there's others involved, right? Mm -hmm. Why do they want to keep others from you? Because they see your strength. They see your strength. You know, what is for you after enduring this Ten of Swords, closing this cycle out? It may start off slow, but it's worth the wait. And then what do we get here? The King of Cups. First of all, I like that a king appears. <laughs> you know, somebody who's mature, who has gone through some Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Five of Wands energy. Had to fight. You know, what I do like about this card in particular is that he's holding his cup up above his head. Like in spite of everything you've endured, there's still a victory there. Why? Because you, your heart is still open. 
first of all, you have a heart with the King of Cups. It is about love. The lovers is here. There's a choice. But nothing's being said. I don't know. It could involve a Scorpio, Cancer, a Pisces, Gemini, a Leo, Aries, Sag, another Virgo. Could involve any sign, but it involves you, Virgo. And the topic is love. And somebody's not giving to it. Somebody's not is holding back. Somebody is putting forth very little effort. Nothing is happening because there's a lack of communication with the Eight of Wands. Reverse. And that is also divine communication, swift communication, if it's upright, you know. But it's not. It's like mm, dead. Okay. Others are involved. It, it's an intentional lesson. It's karma for everyone. <laughs> That's what Spirit just said. Okay. But when I qualify the Four of Pentacles and the Hermit Reverse, I got the lovers for the Four of Pentacles holding back love. We already knew that because your happiness is here. Everything, you know, love is not just to an individual. It's an energy that emits from you. Like you you have to be flying on all pistons. And when there's outer forces trying to control that, stopping communication, blocking you when it comes to love. Oof. Yeah, you feel uncomfortable. Why? Because your intentions, your heart is centered on your cup. For some reason, I just feel with this maturity that I feel, spirit, you know, there's been a spiritual growth. So you've been focusing on filling your cup up, right? Focusing on you, your desires, your aspirations. You had to after this painful ending. It's like you had to pour everything back into all of your cups. And now... Now, when it comes to love, at least you feel better. I'm not sure. So tell me about this situation. Yeah, they don't want you to travel. They don't want any distance. It's like, you know, this is a, a card of um, she's happy, joyous that she's on a ride, on a new journey, onto something new. Chariot, the Cancer, Cancer energy, um, you know. To finding happiness, a home, family, that's what matters to cancer. You know, also um, exploring distant places, getting away, yes, from uh, things that were laborious. And this is also another major here. So you have three, four, yes, four major arcanas, all of that. You know, your energy is kind of returning from feeling uncomfortable. At least you feel better about yourself. And it's just exhibited in your attitude. The things you choose to focus on. Mm. Five, the high priestess. Listening to your intuition. It's like turning your will over to spirit. Hey, that, you know, sometimes the pain is so great, you have to go deep spiritually to disconnect from the past, to let go of, you know, the same cycle, the lack of communication. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. This is maybe the communication is from somebody who was not there for you, was part of their team who brought you the Ten of Swords energy. And that's why they can't find the words. They don't know what to say. But it hurt you deeply. Hell, one sword will kill you. Ten will make you change. If you survive that, you're a different person. And you're a different person here. In spite of the fact that you had energy trying to control and keep it from you, keep it away, forced you to focus on you, the hermit, right brought confusion made you feel uncomfortable until you just began to start anew allowed spirit to start something new in you and you just 
took the steps. You took some steps to move forward away from the pain. And spirit was there. Yeah, five major arcanas ending with Piscean energy. The high priestess. Uh, listening to your intuition when you're making a choice. You can do this or you can do that. And you just had the strength to do something different. It was called for. It was needed. You have no other choice. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I don't know. I feel like you and a love is not talking. There's no communication. Others are involved. You know, you're wondering, like, what is this, a game? <laughs> what is this, a game? Mm. They're part of the team. They know what's going on. Oof. <laughs> yeah, they have the ability to um, break you out of the cage with the Seven of Wands reverse turn this communication upright but they choose not to or maybe you know like I don't know could be some fear to actually be truthful or how are you going to react if they do yeah well anything that's genuine requires communication mm. This is a very mature energy. It's like grown over time. It's marinated into something spiritual. And it's worth your protection. What are you saying here, Spirit? Please tell me. Okay. For Virgo. Yeah, separation. Hmm. Yeah, I this is past energy, so definitely there is some separation because whenever the lack of communication, something broke communication apart. That was the first thing to go. You stopped talking. Communication had been had been very important in the past. That's the first card. And so when it stopped, that broke, that separated the friendship. Um, and whatever else had existed from that. Somebody is sad about that, though. You know, they miss you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. That They don't know what to say. They don't have the words to say. Yes, that's what caused the break of communication. The break, it was a lack of communication. But, you know... Um, because of where you are now, spirit wants to keep it real. He says the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. And I felt like, you know, when they caused this separation, when they chose the other team, when they chose somebody over you, Virgo, you let go and you've moved on and um, you've transformed Mm-hmm. You've gotten over them. And so now it's time for you to continue to move forward. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You've ascended. You've transcended. <laughs> you know, this created a lot of swords, challenges, obstacles for a long time. They haven't talked to you for a long time because... How do you, what do you say when you chose all the time the choice was someone else, was others? It wasn't you, Virgo. Mm -hmm. You had no choice, right? But to hit your knees and to work on you, to turn you upright again. Yeah. And you did it. <laughs> you know, when we're okay with our situation, like nothing can take our joy away, um, then we're not confined. We're not confined by anything. And and people that are in this energy are connected and confined to each other. Mm. 
you've ascended. So uh, spirit is saying, um, continue to move forward, prepare for a new phase. Absolutely. This full moon is coming at the end, right? And it's a perfect time to just continue to move forward. For those of you who have already kind of let go, just continue to move forward. I mean, look, in order for anything to happen here, they would have to have the courage and strength to talk to you after. The first thing is, why do you choose them over me? You know, in whatever situation, I just feel like they wanted to be part of the team that was holding love back from you, the Four of Pentacles, for different reasons. But that was the purpose of all of this coming together, the Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. There were others. There were, they were in partnership with others. So they'd have to get real and honest with you about that. And they don't know what to say. Are you kidding me? Where do I start? Meanwhile, time has transpired here because there's so much growth, so much ascension, transformation, spirits like you're not going back to that. <laughs> they can't even talk to you. That's the first requirement. Mm. Also, the first requirement here is to clear up some karma. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so... Tell me more. Tell me more, spirit. Mm -hmm. Virgo, mid-November. Love, love. Yeah, you're being told to go forward. Something better awaits you. You've done so much work. You've advanced so much. You've ascended. Mm -hmm. You've learned a lot. Right. Your heart is intact. You know, your heart is still open. You're still in a uh, receptive energy. You're vibrating high. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and that's why they want a reconciliation. What? <laughs> but the biggest restraint between you guys is trust. You know, trust is like without communication for sure, there's no trust. It's like, how do you reconcile when you can't even talk? When there's years of no communication? It's like you question that. Now you want to reconcile? After all this time and not talking, now you want to talk. I, mm. Well, you got the answer. No second chances. <laughs> I don't see it. Um, you can talk, but I still don't see it coming back around. If you can identify, resonate with something that was said, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a message. Share the video if you think it'll help someone. Listen to the signs, other signs in your birth chart. Listen to those readings. I'm going to pray that you continue to move forward and really find somebody who's aligned with you, who's going the same way. See these two? birds kissing making a heart that's because they are perfectly aligned they're going the same way they're in step they're in union that's the type of love you're looking for and that's why you've transformed you've grown so you need somebody that aligns with you that thinks like you that looks like you that attracts you continue moving forward let's pray for that our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever amen until the next moon phase namaste